Hello everyone, welcome to the Streamweaver tutorial. In this tutorial we will be covering div tags and CSS. If you cannot see the code, if it's not as clear as you want it, this entire video will be able to download from my website where it will be in HD and, and as clear as it can be. So in this tutorial I will pick up from a previous tutorial of when we made this page with tables. I'm going to be recreating this page only using div tags instead of tables. The reason for this is tables are mostly for tabular data, like spreadsheets, columns, stuff like that. And they're great for beginners, but when you get really heavy into web development, they're not really appropriate. So I'm going to start off by going to File, New, HTML. And on the doc type, I'm going to select HTML5, so we're coding for the newest generation. I will then click Create. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set a background color by clicking Page Properties. And I'll zoom in here. Background color. And I'll just give it a blue, like so. And then I'll zoom out. Make sh click on the inside of your document and make sure you have a blinker here that's blinking ready for you to type something. Go up to insert layout objects div tag and make sure where it says insert that it says at insertion point. Give it an ID of main and click OK. You will see that content for main goes here has now appeared and this box has appeared as well. That's fine. Click inside this box and click new CSS rule. You will see that it has automatically given it an ID and it's targeting your main div tag. Okay, go to rule definition and select new style sheet and click OK. It'll ask you what you want to name your style sheet and I will just call mine CSS. Okay. Now, for the rule definition, go to box. And for width, I'm going to make mine tw uh, 1024. And this is usually the, what most web pages are. So I'll go ahead and click that. And you'll see that the box has shrunk in its size. Now, say you want this to be centered on everyone's screen, whether they have a netbook, an iPad, uh, some type of laptop, or a gigantic 30-inch screen. Well, it's very simple to put it in the center. You just uncheck the box for margin, and right, turn it to auto, left, turn it to auto, hit apply, and this box is now centered. Okay. So now... I'm going to click in, keep the clicked inside of my main div, and, I, and now I want to insert a logo on the side. So I'll click Insert Layout Objects Div Tag, and this time where it says Insert, I'll put After Tag, and Main will appear. Make sure this is a, is there, and I will just type Logo for ID. Click OK. And, sorry guys, I actually meant, I'm going to go ahead and delete that and start over because I actually meant to put that inside this tag, which is really simple to do. You do the same process, insert layout div tag, and I'm going to put um, before end of tag, and I'm going to hit main, and ID, once again logo, and now logo is inside of my main tag. Okay, so main is acting as a wrapper for all the content. So all the content on your website will go inside main. You can create many columns inside main, but everything has to go in it. Okay, so for logo, I'm just going to highlight that and just drag and drop a logo. Okay, and I'm just going to remove this text here. And you'll notice when you remove content for main, it will actually shrink. It is still there, however, if you look in the code. 
if I just type some random stuff and then click, you will see it now has appeared there. So just know main is still there even though you can't see it. Okay, I'll now zoom back out. Okay, now I want to target my logo class. So I'll add a new CSS rule and make sure image is not selected. I'll actually go ahead to the code and click right after div ID equals logo. And then I'll click new CSS rule. And you can actually just erase that if your logo the IMG. So I'll make sure it targets CSS and main logo and I'll click OK. And now for this, I want this box to be a size of 712. So I'll click apply and OK. And now you can see that this box is now our logo box. So I'll now come to insert, layout object, div tag, same thing, and before end of tag, and I'm going to target logo. And for this, I'll name it first column. And I'll hit OK. And you'll notice first column is already sized to this because we've told the logo you need to equal 712. So we have our first column here, right here. And now we need a second column. So I'm just going back to insert, same process. And I'm going to put it before end of tag and this time I'll target main and I'll give it the ID of second column and I'll hit OK and you'll see second column here and it's all big and stuff but when you click in it and, up and give it a CSS rule I'll go to block and give it 312 and I'm going to float it right and click OK. OK, so now you can see that our second column is right here. But it's not quite right. It's not inside right where we want it. So I'm going to click the box around this, make sure everything's selected. And then I'm going to go over to my code and I'm just going to cut and I'm going to paste it right after the main where it says div ID equals main and once I've done that you will now see that content for second column goes here and you can size this however big you want okay but now we know because if you start typing here it will never cross this line so we have a second column for that and this is good if you want pictures on the side, if you want ads, uh, or navigation, something like that. So now, we have our second column. In tables, you can't have two tables side by side. You can just create new layers or different columns. However, if you do want one table to hold something with, beside another table, this isn't really possible without the use of div tags. So that's another good reason for div tags. So, it says this is sample text here. I'll go ahead and add that. Cancel. I'll go ahead and add that to right here. Okay. And now, I'll go to insert another div tag. And I'll do it after the tag this time of I misspelled first column but that's okay after the tag of first column and I'll give it the ID of copyright okay so copyright is now here and I'll just put copyright copyright some fake company okay now say you want to center this well that's easy enough we just go to our div tag 
and right after the div tag put an put a greater than sign and type in center and close it off with a less than sign and then open it up put a slash and it will spell center and close it off for you so now when you click the page it will now move it to the center okay guys this has been the first part of how to use div tags stay tuned for the second part where we will cover links and different um, different colors different styles things like that thank you